I'm Erica and today I'm going to show you how to make a big batch of pasta that you can use for at least three to four days. Um, I work Monday through Friday so I need to pack five lunches throughout the week. More often than not when I come home at night I am not feeling like making dinner and it's a lot easier to just go and scoop something into my bento box and I can take it and have that. My go-to is quinoa and roasted vegetables which I've showed you how to make. Uh, another thing that I like to do is pasta. This tonight will be a cheese tortellini with Brussels sprouts and buttery Parmesan sauce. Um, it's a really light sauce, so there's a lot of butter in it, but it's not too, it's not super heavy. Um, what you will need, this is another recipe that's not a recipe. Um, so you can kind of eyeball stuff, you can swap stuff in and out, but this is just an idea of something that's quick to make uh, and will help you have like three or four days worth of food. So you need a package of tortellini, this is 10 ounces, a, one pound of Brussels sprouts, this is conveniently bagged for me. You will need a lemon, a stick of butter, it's a four ounce stick, size stick, not the big size stick, a shallot, some garlic, and some shaved or shredded cheese. Uh, this is a blend of Toscano cheddar and Parmesan. Um, Whatever you want to do, you can do Parmesan. Doesn't really matter to me. So to start, what you're going to do, you're going to cut your Brussels sprouts in half, get them ready to blanch. You are going to get a big pot of water boiling with salt. You want to cut up your uh, garlic and your shallots. Shallots are similar to onions. They are in the onion family. Um, they have a little bit different flavor. They're much stronger, so you just need one of those and about two cloves of garlic. Slice those up. Uh, first thing you're going to do Oh, and then you're going to um, zest and juice your lemon. So do those things, and then I'll show you from there. Once you have everything prepped, you're going to melt two tablespoons of butter over medium heat in a large saute pan. So I've got that going. And you're going to add your shallots and your garlic. And you're going to cook those for about four minutes. Let them get really soft and it'll start to smell delicious. Once your shallots and your garlic have been going about four minutes, you're going to take your Brussels sprouts, put them into the boiling water. Try not to splash yourself. And you're going to let those cook for two minutes. Your Brussels sprouts have been in for two minutes and you want to use a spider or you can use like a strainer or something, um, whatever you like, to get them out. You want to shake off the excess water and then you're going to move them over to the pan with your shallots and your garlic. I bought this strainer doodad, it's called a spider on Amazon for like four dollars and it has made this recipe so much more awesome because it takes like a minute to transfer everything. So you transfer it and keep that going because you're going to put your cook your pasta in it. And you're going to toss this and you're going to saute these for maybe, I would think 10 minutes or so I usually do it. I haven't looked at the recipe for this in a long time. So I just kind of wing it. Alright, I cooked my Brussels sprouts for 10 minutes. They can go a little bit longer. I'd like them to be a little bit toastier, a couple, a little crispier. But yeah, you can see they're getting some nice color on there. They're starting to smell really good. Um, my tortellini cooks for five minutes. So I think those have about five minutes left. And I'm going to put my tortellini in here. And set a timer and come back to it. I've got a minute left on my tortellini. And my Brussels sprouts look awesome. They're really browned up nicely. They smell amazing. So what I'm going to do before I transfer the tortellini over here is I'm going to add everything else and I'm going to switch to do that so I can use both hands. All right, so I have my Brussels sprouts. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my juice from one lemon and my lemon zest. I put it in a little measuring cup so it's easy to toss right in here. That's going to deglaze the pan a little bit gonna get up all that brown stuff that cooked onto there. The tortellini is done. And the next thing I'm gonna do 
is take the rest of my stick of butter. Remember I added two tablespoons to cook these Brussels sprouts. I've got the rest and I've got it sliced up into little tablespoon bits. I'm gonna toss them all in here. Stir it around and get that nice and melted up. Oh yeah. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt right now, just cause I can. I love these salt grinders. This one's from Trader Joe's. I feel like a walking advertisement for them, but I really like that. The other thing I have is um, some kosher salt in one of these little fun doodads from Target, and I keep that next to my stove with the olive oil. All right, so my butter's melted in there, and I'm gonna use the same uh, slider from before to transfer the tortellini. Oh, this is a good angle, you guys. You can really see what I'm doing. I'm gonna take all of my tortellini and put it in with my Brussels sprouts. And that's basically it. So I use, let's see, so the Brussels sprouts cooked for 10 minutes and then we added the tortellini and that cooked for five. So that was 15 minutes. In that time, I made my little snack box with my apples and my pretzel crisps. And I made, I got my chia seeds for my yogurt. And I also um, packed the top tier of the box that I'm gonna use today. So it's some nuts and, and berries and stuff. So all in all, this recipe was like 20 minutes with prep, 30 if you prep really slow and go play with your dogs in between, which I may or may not have done. All right, so this looks amazing. I'm gonna show you. Well, it might not look amazing on camera because I'm not Giada or anything, but yeah. So check that out. And that is a crap load of pasta. So I've got my bento box here that I'm gonna use. And I'm gonna put the rest in the Tupperware container into the refrigerator. And then tomorrow night, my dog is barking, I'm sorry. I can't cut that out, I'm talking. So tomorrow night, uh, all I will have to do is go into the refrigerator and scoop it out. So I wouldn't recommend pasta every day. I mean, pasta with butter isn't the most healthy thing that you could be putting in your body, but I don't make this every week, so whatever. And like I like to say, I'm grown up, I can do what I want. All right. The other thing I've got, I've got a little bit of shredded cheese to top it, and I'm going to put it right on top of that, uh, and right on top of it in that box. Now I'll show you what it looks like. This is my finished bento box. The top chair is tortellini and Brussels sprouts with a little bit of cheese on it. The bottom is some nuts and berries, and if you look under there, there's some teeny tiny uh, peanut butter cups. And a couple people have asked me, how does it fit together? So this is how it stacks up. One, and this has a lid, that has a lid, and then I've got my elastic band that goes around and it keeps it all together. Thank you so much for watching. As always, leave a comment, let me know what you would like to see next. I am open to ideas and I do answer in the comments and I'll try to post um, the actual recipe as the description. So if you don't want to watch this video a hundred times of me fumbling around, you don't have to, you can just reference the uh, the description of it. Uh, but yeah, I like this recipe. I've been making it for like a year or so. Um, it originated with a Martha Stewart Everyday Food uh, blog post, which oh, I miss that blog so much. It is now defunct. I had the magazine for years. I digress. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Uh, let me know what you want to see next. Bye.